One of my biggest pet peeves is when people think that they can't be stylish because they're not rich, because they don't have a bunch of extra money to spend on high-end designer fashion. In fact, I would almost argue that if you are stylish on a budget, I would consider you to be even more stylish than someone who has all the money in the world and a whole team of stylists to make them look good. So I decided I wanted to start a new series of videos showing you how you guys can affordably dress like your favorite celebrities. Today we are talking about Niall Horan. Obviously we all know Niall Horan from One Direction. He blew up in popularity in the boy band scene, but since he's gone solo, I've really appreciated how classic he's gone with his style because he's not necessarily the most fit or the most handsome guy in the world, but he consistently looks good because he found a style genre that works for him. Before we jump into the outfits, there's one major thing that I want you guys to take away from today's video, and that is just categorizing in your mind. So. When you see a picture of Niall Horan or Harry Styles or David Beckham or whoever it is that you wanna recreate an outfit, don't worry about what brand it is that they're wearing. Worry about exactly what it is that they have on. So maybe it's a gray suit and brown loafers and a matching gray shirt or whatever the case may be and understanding in your mind that that's really all it is. You don't have to worry about it being from Gucci to look that good. Find something that works similarly for you and it's ultimately gonna end up being almost the exact same thing. Okay, let's recreate some looks. In look one, we've got a really casual, I happen to have a shirt very similar to his. This is from PacSun, it was like 20 or 30 bucks. And then these blue chino pants, those are from Walmart. I think they were $10. And then the white Chuck Taylors, I don't have black ones, so I went with white. Those are always very interchangeable. A style move that he makes a lot is using tank tops, either as a layering piece, or on their own. I really love how you just see a tiny little bit of it because it just adds a little bit of extra layering in the summertime, but it's just a little bit more of a dimension into your outfit. Overall, it's an easy way to add a lot of style with a very simple move. Look two, one of my favorite looks, a t-shirt and trousers. I didn't have a graphic one, so I just went with this $7 plain Uniqlo t-shirt and some plaid trousers very similar to his. You can't see the shoes in the outfit, so I just went with the same Chuck Taylors because we're gonna be talking a lot about versatility here. But overall, it's very, very similar because I broke it down to a t-shirt with the sleeves rolled up and some plaid pants, which I had, and some Chuck Taylors. So I recreated the outfit so easily with pieces that are nowhere near as expensive as what he's probably wearing. Look three, big fan of this. Again, he's layering with a tank top. As you see, I've got those same Walmart chino pants on with a Fruit of the Loom tank top, some brown tasseled loafers because I didn't have black ones like he did. But then I have this camo uh, Oxford shirt from Polo that is not exactly the same as his, but it's overall the same exact color scheme. And by leaving it open like that, it breaks it down into blue pants, a white tank top, a brown and green shirt, and some loafers, all of which I already had. And I was able to almost exactly recreate the look with very little effort. In the next look, look four, we've got a gray polo shirt with some gray trousers. But as you can see, he throws in that pop of color with the socks. I love this style move. I didn't have those. I had some bright yellow ones. So we're going with that instead. Again, versatility, the same loafers as before. Really enjoy the gray base layer. And then I happen to have a very similar suit as to what he's wearing. So I wore that jacket with the pants. And as you can see, it's just all gray with the pop of color and the loafers because we're breaking it down into, okay, he's wearing loafers with a gray double-breasted suit and a gray shirt and some pop of color socks. Almost the exact same outfit. This is a really dope outfit as well. That jacket looks crazy expensive. I'm not sure what brand it is, but I love it. Um, so, but ultimately it's just a gray sweater, some gray trousers, brown boots. I'm wearing the same trousers as before, it's versatility. And then if you wanted to match it, I went as exact as I could with this brown leather jacket that I've had forever layered over top the gray sweater. I didn't have an exact gray sweater like he had, but understanding that just making it gray to begin with is going to be a really nice match. And then as an alternative, if you do really like the way that the fur is on his jacket, I have this uh, Sherpa line jacket from I think Lucky Brand that's super affordable and quality. 
that ends up giving almost the exact same vibe. In finally, in look six, I wanted to show you guys that even if you don't have something that's exact, I mean, up to this point, I've surprisingly had a lot of very similar things to his, but I wanted to show you that a white shirt can easily be replaced because to me, it's when I break down his outfit, brown shoes, some brown pants, a brown polo shirt and a fur jacket. So for me, I went with the same brown loafers as before, some chino pants, a white polo shirt, and a fur jacket that I got at Old Navy for like 15 bucks or something. Overall, this is a very stylish, really excellent outfit that is just broken down piece by piece, as I told you guys before, and it creates an easy aesthetic. You can do this with anybody, whether it's me, whether it's someone else that you're following on Instagram or whatever. Don't think that you can't look like them. Go in, break it down piece by piece, and style it in a similar way with what you have. Wow, so now you know what to be shopping for. You know how you can affordably style yourself just like Niall Horn. We copied a bunch of his outfits. I'm very fortunate that I have a major wardrobe, but that's because I have collected things over the years and understood what worked for me and what direction I wanted to go with my style. And I stocked up on classic things, much like Niall is wearing in a lot of these looks, because I know that they're gonna last me forever. They're never gonna go out of style. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you wanna see specific uh, how to dress like whoever videos, let me know down in the comments. I'm not super on top of like the young athletes, actors, musicians. So let me know, I will look them up and we can recreate some outfits of theirs as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.